All right, I'm going to work through an example here of a user-defined function in VBA. Fuel efficiency of an 18-wheeler, so the fuel efficiency in miles per gallon, is highly dependent on the speed in mile per hour, as well as the weight of the truck in pounds. So the efficiency is given by this expression here, um, where we have the weight in pounds and we have the speed in miles per hour. And our goal is to create a VBA function called efficiency with arguments of weight and speed that outputs the fuel efficiency of a truck miles per gallon of weight W traveling at the speed of S. So I'm over here now in Excel. I've just copied and pasted my formula. Um, so we're going to develop this user-defined function and then we're going to be we're going to use it and test it to determine the efficiency in uh, miles per gallon of a truck that weighs 60,000 pounds traveling at 80 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and go into the editor we're going to insert a module, and I'm going to name this function efficiency. It's going to have arguments W and S. And W is going to be dimmed as a double, the speed as a double, and the output we want to be as a double. All right, so let's just go back, Alt F11, and we've got this, this function here, so I'm just going to type it in. Uh, as an expression. All right, so I've typed this in. Notice I've got the output of the function, just the name of the function, right? And I'm not using a message box. You never use message boxes in functions. So I've got efficiency equals our equation. So that should work, and we can type that in. Efficiency is the name of our function. We want to calculate the efficiency at a truck weight of 60,000 pounds and a speed at 80 miles an hour. So I just put those two arguments in and I press enter. And this means then the mile, miles per gallon of that truck is going to be uh, 4.95. We could also look at the effect of you know increasing the weight. Obviously you should decrease that. If we drive a lot slower we have a lot less wind resistance which goes as the uh, it's, an, it's exponential of the speed, so we get better gas mileage. All right, hope that uh, gives you kind of a, an idea of how we can use user-defined functions to create custom-made functions in Excel.